OpenAI released a new version of GPT-5 and it's called Codex. And in today's video, we will put this new model to the test and compare GPT-5 Codex versus Claude Opus. We'll be building an operating system and see which one makes the best OS. And of course, answer the biggest question of all, is this the end of Claude code? You need to chill by- So here we have our two terminals. On the left, we have Codex, and on the right, we have the Claude code CLI. So what we're going to do first is make sure that we are using the latest version of Codex. So here, Codex says there is a new version of Codex CLI, so we just need to update this by running the following command. And here we go, now it's updated, we can see this amazing looking animation. Is that supposed to be Steam? Introducing GPT-5 Codex. Works faster through easy task and harder on complex task. Well, we'll see about that. So with that said, we can select one to try the new Codex model. And here we go. And for Claude, we'll make sure that we are using Claude Code Opus. So to make the operating system, this is the prompt that I'll be using. If you want to follow along, you can simply copy this prompt and tell me in the comments below if you get the same results. I think that'll be interesting to see. So with that said, this should be complex enough to test GPT-5 Codex and Claude Code Opus. So without further ado, let's run them and see the results. Now I'll be monitoring this too to see which one is faster so you guys can decide which model to use based on speed. And it looks like Cloud Code Opus won the race, finishing at 9 minutes and 30 seconds. Codex still running and there you go. Codex finished at 16 minutes and 19 seconds. That's almost double the time Opus took. And here are the results. And what I'm gonna do is compare them side to side. So on the left corner, we have Codex OS. And on the right corner, we have Opus OS. And you guys can play along. Which one do you think looked better? Is it Codex or is it Opus? Share your thoughts in the comments below. <laughs> so let me start with the desktop. I gotta say that I prefer the one from Opus because I took told it to create the background, but still I really appreciate the fact that Opus decided on its own to create this texture, you know, I don't know if you can see it, but we have like circles here. And it looks like the app is in dark mode by default. I'm not sure if Codex OS is currently using dark mode, but we'll find out later on. I can also see in the taskbar that we have both apps button or the apps menu and the time. And I can already tell you that the time is working. I saw it earlier, it changed. And if you guys want to wait, there we go, as you can see now it's 9-11. Moving on to the apps and there is definitely a big difference at least in terms of the design choices opus is much cleaner compared to what codex did but you know what i'll let you guys be the judge which one do you think looked better is it codex or is it opus let me know in the comments below again so let's open the notes app <laughs> oh okay i can already tell you that there is a huge difference again in terms of the design choices i can tell you that this one is trying to be like a windows notepad and this one is trying to look like the mac os notes app honestly i prefer the one from codex i like how simple it is i'm not really a big fan of mac os notes app i rarely use it in fact i don't really use it so i like this one i like how simple it is i can just type whatever i want to type in here like hello world and i can also see some Thing here i saw it like it's trying to save something let me try it once again bernard dagger now it's saying saving and if i just stop typing it's now saying auto saved i'm not sure if the notes from opus os is going to do the same thing but we'll find out so currently i have the following content i'm going to type something here i'll give it a title and for the content i'm just gonna type subscribe and I don't see any text that says saving or auto saved. So I'm not sure if it saved what I typed, but we'll find out now. So I'm going to reload the page. I'm going to reload this one as well. And we have the welcome back, welcome to web OS. And now if I try to open the same notes app, I still have the hello world Bernard as that's 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 that. And here in Opus, if I try to open the notes app, Okay, I don't have the content that I just made. So yeah, props to Codex for making this working app. Here in Codex, the window is also draggable. In Opus as well, it's the same thing. It's also resizable. I like that there is this thing right here that tells you, oh, it's, it's resizable. So you can just drag it like that. Same thing here, we can resize it. 
that's good. But the big difference between these two is that the one from Codex is not minimizable. Here, it is minimizable. I can see that there is this minimize button and yeah, it minimized. I can also open it once again and I can also maximize it and I can also close it. There you go. The next thing that I'm going to check is if it's going to allow me to open another notes app. And here in Opus, it allowed me to open another notes app. And here in Codex, it's not allowing me to open another notes app. So you can only open one notes or one app at a time. But if I open files, it allowed me to open the app. Let me do the same thing here in Opus. There we go. And wow, the difference is massive. Here in Codex, the design is questionable, but here in Opus, the design is very, very good. I like it. Let me just close all of the windows. Let me start with Codex. Here we have up button, and we also have new folder, and we have new file button. But here in Opus, I have back button, I also have up button, but we have a path or the bar that displays the path and we also have new folder and new file button so it's quite obvious which one looks better right and that is opus so let's try to press new folder okay for this one too same thing let me just type weekly how okay created the folder let me try here as well weekly how it created the folder. Awesome. Can I rename it? Or hold on, before I continue, let me try if I can right click. No, it's not working. But here, oh, there is a right click feature. That is interesting. I can rename and I can delete it. Okay, that's another point towards Opus. Speaking of right click, let me try and hit right click here in desktop. It's not, it was not implemented. What about here in Codex? Same thing. And that is okay, that is okay, because I didn't mention anything about the desktop. I didn't mention it to create icons there. I didn't mention any right-click feature right over there. So that is okay. I'm not gonna deduct points. I'm not gonna add points to anyone or to anything. It's also quite interesting that we have this preview section here. I'm not sure what that means. If I open welcome text, okay, so if you open it, it just shows you the content directly here in the files app. Interesting. I was expecting it to open the notes app to show me the content of the text, but that's okay. that's okay. I didn't mention anything about text or, you know, notepad or notes, whatever. Let me try here. I'm going to create a new file and I'll call it text.txt. It is super interesting that it's using an icon. That is really cool. What happens if I open it? Okay, it opens the notes app. What about the content though? You think it's going to save the content? Can you save this? Oh, there we go. Let me just close it. And if I open it once again, no, it did not save anything. Let's move on to the settings. Here we have the theme setting. We also have the same thing here, but we have a category. It is quite obvious that it's trying to replicate the system from Mac OS. It's cool. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm cool with that. So here we have appearance. We have the theme It is currently set to dark and I can switch it to light Okay, it is working here in codex It's currently set to light and I can just switch it to dark and now it is in dark theme Awesome. We have enable animations and we have show notifications. I'm not sure if it's going to do something But let's try it's currently disabled by the way. So if I enable it what does it do? Because I saw earlier that we had a notification, so I'm not sure if it's going to enable the notification again or if it's going to disable it because now it's enabled. Let me try. Okay, so the theme changed. We still have the notification, but if I disable the show notifications, it's still working. So I don't think there's anything for this too. I don't think so. In the system, we have clear all data, clear notes. Okay, I'm not going to touch any of those. So let's just move on to the next app, and that's going to be the terminal. That's right. Okay. Okay, so we have the Codex OS terminal, and we have the terminal from Opus OS. And guys, tell me which one looked better. Is it the one from Codex, or is it the one from Opus? Personally, I prefer the one from Opus. But it's just a personal preference, okay? It's just a personal preference. Let me just type help. 
okay? We have the following commands. We have help, we have echo, we have clear, we have about, we have theme, we have list or ls. We have ls and we have apps, we have apps open, and we have date. What about here in opposites terminal? Help. There you go. Okay, this looked much better because it's literally a list. Compared to this one, it's just a paragraph of commands. It's hard to read. You gotta think about the user experience and Codex did not consider that. Anyway, let's just try a couple of this. I'm gonna try echo and say hello. Oh, it actually worked. What about date? It is working. What about ls? It's actually working. We have welcome.txt, we have projects, and we have weekly how. I'm trying to highlight a text, but I don't think it's uh, it's not working. It's not working. What about here? It's not allowing me to highlight a text. Okay, that is that is okay. Let me try the comments here in Opus's OS. Let's do who am I? Web OS user. What about date? It's also working. What about mkdir to make a directory? And I'll call this wow. It created a new folder called wow. And if I just type ls, we should have the wow folder here. But it looks like it's still using the quote. It shouldn't. I gotta say, I am not super impressed with Codex. Not only is it slow, but it's also not very good at making UIs. However, I'm impressed with how it implemented a feature such as the Notes app and the quote unquote terminal, though I'm more impressed with how Claude Code Opus created the terminal. But anyway, I would have loved it if Codex made a better looking UI. So with that said, I'm going to say that Claude Code Opus did a very good job in this test. The UI was phenomenal. It used icons and I really liked the way it switched between light and dark mode directly in the taskbar right over here. It's super easy to access. So yeah, if you're going to build apps, maybe use GPT-5 Codex for the functionality of your app and use Claude Code Opus for the UI. But what do you guys think? Did Codex do a better job than Cloud Code Opus? Let me know in the comments below. And if you guys enjoyed watching this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to WeeklyHow for more videos like this one. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.